Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this is the Blickman Brew Easy Compact System, and this is a series. I've been going over all the parts. Now, if you don't have the compact version, there's still a lot of these parts that are gonna apply to you, and even if you don't have a Blickman system, there are some of these parts that might apply to you, such as today. Today, we're going to be doing two, not one, two Whirlpool arms. Yes, that's right, or Whirlpool attachments, or whatever you wanna call them. You get what they do. So don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. So I'm not sure if Blickman's changing some things. I didn't bother to ask. But originally, from what I have seen and researched, they had the linear flow valve kit. Also, um, the NPT system, whatever else you want to refer to it as. I'll put pictures of the other items. They had a Whirlpool with three-piece ball valve and they have a Whirlpool one and a half inch butterfly valve. That one I've seen discounted in a lot of places, including on Blickman's website. So I'm not sure if that's going away, being replaced. It's really cool looking, I definitely like it. But this is a newer one, and this comes for the compact, which is a tri-clamp system that is actually got, it appears to have less parts overall than the linear flow valve kit. So, Kind of cool. I'm gonna go over both of them because there are people buying the NPT version or people adding. Yes, that's right. If you wanna add this to a kettle you already have, I'm gonna cover that a little bit. And I'll tell you where you can get all the great details. So stay tuned, let's get moving. First, I'm gonna go over the linear flow valve kit, which doesn't actually go to my system because the system I have is tri-clamp. But I will also tell you two, channels you may want to check out if you're looking to drill into your kettle and apply Blickman's Linear Flow Valve Kit for your whirlpooling. One, check out Party Time Brewing. He's got a video, he's an average Joe like me, he's cutting a hole, he's doing the whole nine yards, does a great job. Or check out, or both, I honestly would recommend checking out both. Blickman Engineering also did that video to cover how to install it. They probably know it inside out, but sometimes a different camera angle is really good. So I'll leave the link for both of those videos down below my description, so you can go check them out if you need it. But it's to drill holes and put it in if you don't already have a hole in your system, like I do. So first, let me move this out of the way. And let's go into one quick piece. If you have a tri-clamp system, and I'm assuming the NPT probably has something like this also, and you're not gonna be using the Whirlpool arm, which I would assume you probably don't use it for the majority of your brews unless you're doing something really hoppy or something else that you really just wanna impart a lot of flavor. Yeah. Tri-clamp seal, flat, flush tri-clamp piece. You put that over, you take your clamp, you clamp it on, and that way it's covered. No problem, just seal it up. Get it out of the way, don't worry about it. But for everybody else who wants to see how the Whirlpool arm comes apart, I'm gonna take this apart, break it down to every single piece and explain why and how you should attach it. So this is the Blickman So this is the Blickman's linear flow whirlpool arm. This is it. These pieces right here is what you would get and this piece right here has an o-ring that connects right to wherever your opening is. So just be aware of that. But this is the linear flow valve. I want to make sure you're aware that you can open and close it, but you can also unscrew it and take it apart. Why would you want to take it apart? For cleaning, of course. But, and it's got more O-rings in there, which you should be taking and making sure they're clean from time to time. Close that up. Okay. So you have your linear flow valve, your O-ring, which goes in the very bottom of it to go up against the actual kettle. You have your bulkhead fitting, which goes on the inside of your kettle. And then you have this lovely little shaft collar, which is very bizarre the first time you ever see it. But I'll explain, and I'll explain why it has one little piece and not two. And then of course you have the actual tube, and this is for the Whirlpool, which 
can be pointed in either direction. Yeah, you're starting to get it. Okay, so when you go to assemble this, you're gonna put this on the inside of your kettle, this on the outside, and going through the hole, you're just gonna tighten it down. You can probably do it with your fingers if you got a good hold, otherwise you can take a wrench. You don't wanna over tweak it, you just want it to seal. That's all you want. You'll have a 964 Allen wrench. This has two lips. You can go one or two all the way in, but before you do that, you need to put this little collar on, which of course I'm dropping it, with the point facing towards the two points here. So if I take that and I go like that, I then push this in, and if this were inside the kettle, it would be something like that with the kettle being right here. And you'd wanna take this and spin it. Problem here is if this is pointing here, I'm not gonna to get to that Allen wrench spot, spot. So I'm gonna move it. Yep, there we go, that's good. But I can get to it. If it was upside down, let's say it was spun around this way, I probably couldn't get there and tighten it real easy. So you move it to make sure that you can get to where you can get the Allen wrench. And normally your kettle wall would be here. And then all you do is tighten that down. What's gonna happen is when you tighten it, it's gonna lock down on this so it doesn't move. Otherwise, it can move all day long. So you wanna make sure you're using the collar to keep this from moving. Once you're done, that's it. You're set. All done. Nothing special. When you go to take it apart, you shouldn't have to loosen that. You're just gonna pull it straight out and that'll come off, but it'll actually be still connected because you tightened it. So just something to be aware of and you may need to loosen it up afterwards so you can get everything clean, taken care of. But that's it, nothing special, super easy. Yeah, it just does the job. I mean, there's no reason to be overly complex. That is a little complex, but it's to hold it in place and there's an obvious reason. Okay, let's go straight into the tri-clamp version of the Whirlpool arm. This is actually easier even, in my opinion. So we're gonna take this off, just get it out of the way. We don't need to worry about this. So hooking up your pump, you get your little O-ring there. And then over here, I'm gonna take this apart, take that off. This is kind of cool. It's the same linear type valve system, same exact type of system, but this, this has an O-ring that goes all the way around the flange or whatever you wanna call it. And there's a bit of metal in there and you can take this off and clean it. I wouldn't recommend pulling this off and on a lot because I think it could get damaged, it might not, but you know, I'm just kind of overly cautious. Get everything clean in there. So this is a little easier, in my opinion, than the linear one, because simply you would put this inside of your tri-clamp opening on your kettle, face it whichever way you wanna face it, and that's why the seal is like this, because it's gonna seal on both sides. And then simply put your tri-clamp over it. That's it, you're done. Like this, or like this. This piece, of course, goes on here, for your hose to hook to. It shouldn't leak unless you open it. It's just something to be aware of. If it is leaking, you may have another problem, <laughs> but just to be aware of. That's it. I mean, super simple, but there are many options. And like I said, if you don't already have a Whirlpool port, this would be the way to go. If you have a tri-clamp system, this would be the way to go. I know one doesn't look quite as fancy on the little tube, but it does the same job. It's just sending the liquid in a certain direction. That's it. Thank you for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing on the Whirlpool Arm. And if you found any of this interesting, useful, or helpful, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it.